Penicillin G is the original penicillin that was discovered in 1928 and first used in humans in the 1940s. Dr. Alexander Fleming was the scientist that discovered penicillin after finding that a contaminating mold culture was inhibiting the growth of his Staphylococcus aurelius cultures. This mold culture turned out to be Penicillium notatum, and this mold was secreting a chemical, penicillin, which inhibits the Staphylococcus aurelius. According to an article from PBS by Dr. Howard Markle, the use of penicillin in World War II dropped the death rate of bacterial pneumonia to less than 1%. This was a sharp drop, as the death rate of bacterial pneumonia in World War I was 18%. This was a big discovery for medicine, and the first time infectious agents could be directly combated. You'll recall from the video on penicillins that penicillin G is a cell wall synthesis inhibitor. Penicillin G is a competitive inhibitor of transpeptidase. Furthermore, penicillin G is bactericidal. In order to find out more details, please watch the penicillin-specific video. Many organisms have developed resistance to penicillin G, in part because it has been around for so long. Penicillin G is sensitive to beta-lactamases, and this is the most common mechanism of resistance to this drug. Refer to the video on penicillins for a more detailed explanation on this and other common mechanisms of resistance. The spectrum of bacterial coverage for penicillin G is narrow due to the prevalent resistance. Gram-positive cocci, including S. pneumoniae, S. pyogenes, and viridins group streptococci are susceptible to penicillin G. In addition, certain gram-negative cocci, including Neisseria meningitidis, spirochetes, including T. pallidum, and non-beta-lactamase-producing anaerobes, including C. perfringens, are susceptible to penicillin G. Penicillin G has its greatest activity against gram-positive organisms, gram-negative cocci, and non-beta-lactamase-producing anaerobes. Key adverse effects include hypersensitivity reactions. A patient-obtained medical history of a penicillin allergy is not always reliable, as only a small number of patients that report an allergic reaction to penicillin will actually have life-threatening anaphylaxis as a result of taking the drug. However, a penicillin allergy should be taken seriously and alternative antibiotics pursued in order to avoid potential life-threatening circumstances. Other adverse effects include GI symptoms of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea if a large dose is consumed. There are not many prevalent adverse effects associated with penicillin G use. This can lead to the overuse of penicillin G, which will lead to increased bacterial resistance. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.